I think when I thought of this initially, I don't think there's a fund manager in this country, a fund manager in this country that could get away with this kind of thing uh, other than Kathy Wood. And I say that because if it were a brokerage house that came out and said this, David, we would dismiss it so quickly as being hype. But Kathy Wood actually is so good that you start thinking, OK, well, what is Elon Musk going to do? I mean, maybe he's got a lot in mind that she's thought about. I always know that, that Elon Musk wants to reinvent the entire grid, right. the entire grid, which, remember, was put together in, in piecemeal. So I, 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 she, I, mean, I know that there'll be people who say, Jim, you shouldn't have used the term get away with. Uh, but I do feel, David, that she has the cachet to say it and not be dismissed. When I heard it this week, and I, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how she got to that price target. Okay, and? Um, I just think that she's using uh, the notion that Elon Musk uh, is going to be able to make cars everywhere, but it's not just cars. It's obviously bigger than cars. It's got to be bigger than cars to get right. anywhere near that. I mean, it's funny, these different percentage chances she puts on things, the bull case, a 25% probability, Tesla could be worth 4000 a share, or more in 2025, so four years from now. Well, what would happen if Tony Saganegi from, you know, from uh, Bernstein said this? We would think that he, I don't know. We think he, he lost his was, mind. Yeah, that he ate something with his breakfast. That right. Was, I mean, uh, I like Tony. Bringing on hallucinations. And there are different firms, uh, uh, the Jonas Brothers over at Morgan Stanley. Yeah. I, I mean, there's the Jonas Brothers <laughs> one who probably thinks I gave a hard it. time to some analysts recently. Yeah, it was, you know, even seven or eight Adam times Jones. revenues. But... But, but you're Jones, right. This it, is the most successful fund manager of recent times. So how She's can captured we captured the imagination of many investors, uh, and, and the performance numbers are there. I have so no you have to listen. Wood. Do you have a knock on wood? Do I have a what? A knock on wood. Yeah, sure. Someone's very smart, but did that. I saw it. Yes, Who's, I see it. Well, that's no, really wood. smart. Yeah. Well, but, you know, you know we like, David, people. it's going to get the stock going. We're in a different kind of market. There's been a series of articles now that talk about, I didn't even know this. Do you know what a stimmy is? Yes, I do. It's a stimulus check. Right. So the stimmies are going to go by Tesla. I know. I've seen that, too. The stimmies. Well, um, they're not going to. They're not sitting here. Are they even going to, even with what we have seen of late is the decline in many of these high multiple names but they don't uh, know why. because of the move up in part in, in treasuries? They don't know why, but you can go buy a sliver of a, a stimmy sliver. All right. So what should I buy? I mean, I got Apple down nine and a half percent this year. I've got Amazon down almost six percent for the year. Uh, Tesla, I've got down 7% until today. As you see, it's going to be rebounding a bit. What, what do you think we should, they should be focused on and or how should we be focused on what they're focused on? All right, look, I think that's a great question. I mean, interest rates today are down. Uh, I do think that that means when... Uh, I wish Wade Bush hadn't used the term super cycle. No, every super cycle has been a disaster. But I, I do think Apple's down a lot, but not down enough. I think that this is... I think it's too early to buy some of these stocks, but they are getting very low versus where they were. Uh, Facebook continues to go higher. Face I noticed that as good. well. Yeah, Facebook suddenly reversed course. The it's earnings are going to be good. Well, because everybody suddenly, it's not a high multiple stock, that's for sure. Well, right? but who is he attacked lately? He's not, I mean, remember he in Australia had a tussle? Yes. I, he, I don't think it's Canada that he's going to tussle with. Who else is a great ally of ours that he might tussle with? I'm not, a, I'm not aware of Well, then that's why the planning. stock can go higher. It's an inexpensive stock. I think they should be buying Alphabet because Alphabet actually has earnings momentum. Right. Although you are talking about one of the better performers of sort of right. fang, so to speak, over the, over the last couple of months. But when Alphabet you, is up nicely. David, but when you get the Kathy Wood, what she did that day, and of course it's not everything, at around 630, you know, she's a, she's a seller of a lot of big cap. And she likes... Uh, um, that fantastic spack that is the uh, butterfly. Boom! Yeah, she likes butterfly. She hates friend, Splunk more friend, than Larry life Robbins. itself. Yeah, uh, but butterfly is. We should tell people butterfly is actually a real company. I've had the doctor use it. No, already. Dr. Rothberg's been on with us a couple of times. Of course, he has another one, CAPA. Remember another deal. He's a unique gentleman. But uh, she loves butterfly. this. Yeah. I no. think everyone should get what she, you, know, you can get and be on the distribution list. And you, you can see she likes disruptive technologies that are not involved and kind of don't have nothing to do with the linkage of bonds. She doesn't care at all about that linkage. But why did she pick 3000 instead of 2500 uh, Jim, these are not questions I can answer, like so many others. 
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.